Hi guys, welcome to day 14 of the 15 day songwriting challenge. Today we're going to be talking about what a bridge is and how to write one. If you're new here, please subscribe and also you can download the free template in the description to help with your writing. And if you're over on Patreon, then you have extra templates and resources over there. So the bridge is the part of the song that has the most contrast and it's also usually the most dramatic and emotional part of the song. The bridge usually comes between the second chorus and the final Final chorus and it's about the same length as a verse. It's going to have completely different lyrics, different melodies, and different chord progressions from the other sections. Not all songs have bridges, so you want to think about if your story could benefit from having a contrasting view or if it needs some extra emotional hype. Let's talk about the lyrics that you're going to have in your bridge. So maybe you're going to provide some kind of new perspective to what you've already said. So for example, if you've written a breakup song, in the verse maybe you've described the story, in the chorus you've said how sad you are about what happened, and then in the bridge maybe you're going to say how you're moving on. So in those verses and choruses you've given some kind of sad mood, whereas in the bridge you're going to go for a hopeful twist in the story. Whatever you say in the bridge though, make sure that you can still repeat the chorus after it. If you've strayed too far from the main chorus idea, then maybe you're going to have to rewrite some parts for the final chorus, which is also a cool idea. Or maybe with the lyrics in the bridge, you want to just go deeper into what you've already said and give an even more emotional picture to the story. So let's take that breakup example again. Maybe the bridge you're going to talk about how mad you are about what happened or how extremely sad sad you are about it. <laughs> Whatever you do, make sure you keep some kind of rhyme scheme in the bridge also to give it some structure and really separate it from the other sections. Then in terms of a chord progression, you want to have something different in the bridge. So oftentimes the bridge is kind of the opposite in terms of harmony as the other sections. So let's say the rest of your song has been in a major key, then for the bridge you might want to go to the relative minor key. So if your verses and choruses have been in C major, then the bridge you might want to start with an A minor chord, which is the relative minor of C. Or maybe you want to start your bridge on the 4 chord or the 5 chord. So again, if you're in C, that 4 chord is the F chord and 5 chord is the G chord. Whatever you do, try to make it start on a different chord because that'll really help announce it as a new section. Then if you want to go somewhere completely different, you might try going to the parallel minor. So let's say that you're in C for your song, then when you get to the bridge, you might go to C minor and that's going to sound really different. Different, actually. And then another option is to modulate the key up by one step. And this isn't all that typical in bridges, but it can be done. So if you're in C for most of the song, then you would just modulate up one step to D, and then you're in a new key, it's going to sound totally different. If you do this, it is nice to maybe have some kind of reference in the lyrics or like some reason for why you're doing this. Some reasons might be if you're talking about change in the lyrics or if it's just some kind of emotional build up and you just want to go to a different key, I think that would be some kind of um, reasoning for why you want to modulate because it's not all that typical. If you do modulate to a new key, then stay in that key for the final chorus. Then in terms of your melodies, you just want to do something different from what you've had in the verses and the choruses and make sure that they're distinct from what you've already done. So take a look at the shapes that you're making in your melodies in those other sections. Maybe you've got a lot of repeated notes in your verse, so your melody, if you drew it out, might look something like this. So in the bridge, if you were to do the opposite, then you might do something like this. <laughs> in terms of the shape. And if in the chorus you do something like this with a jump up and then you come back down, then maybe in the bridge you want to start with a jump down and come back up. Just see what you're doing in the other sections and do something different in the bridge. If you've used a lot of the same pitches in the verses and the choruses, try to do something different as well. If you're trying to keep the emotional intensity up, then you want to stay in a higher register in the bridge. Or maybe you want to start lower and then build on it and go up. 
And then last of all, if you want to provide some other contrast, you can also think about starting the melody on a different beat. So if in the verses and the choruses you're coming in on beat one, then maybe in the bridge you want to start on beat two, beat four, just something different and that's going to provide some subtle contrast. So nowadays in pop music, bridges can be pretty simple. Sometimes you only need like one or two lines of text to repeat over and over again. And other times, some people just go for a rap bridge or a speaking bridge. So keep those in mind as options. Maybe they would fit for your song. And then other times people just reuse their pre-choruses as their bridges, sometimes with the same lyrics or with different lyrics. If you do this, keep in mind that your bridge is going to be a little bit less of a contrasting section, it's going to stay in that mood of your song. So your assignment for today is to write a bridge if your song needs one. You can also download that free template in the description to help you with your writing, and if you're on Patreon, you have those extra templates and resources. So let us know in the comments if you're going to write a bridge and what it's going to be about, and please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow is the very last video in this challenge. We've made it to the end. I can't believe it. <laughs> So tomorrow I'm going to be talking about the finishing touches for your song, so I will see you then for the very last video. Bye!